Hey, the Eater of Plankton, my friend. Starting off, just like the old days of this series, with a fishing quest. Certainly been a while since we've started off an episode with a fishing quest, but what we are looking for in particular is the bottomless water bucket and also the endless absorbent sponge or whatever it's called. So yeah, we've still got a little bit of fishing quest grinding to be done in this series. But anyways, my friends, hello. Welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so so much for all of the beautiful support in the form of the likes and the new subscribers lately. I very much do appreciate it, my friends. Of course, if you want to continue supporting the series, the easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And if you really want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, today, my friends, we are switching to our Ranger set so we can hopefully go for the goal of taking down Skeletron Pro. And I've got a pretty good idea as to how I want to be doing that in that we're going to make ourselves the Mega Shark. One of the all-time OG great weapons in this game. Now, check it out, my friends. We've got Hallowed Bards for a Ranger set of Hallowed Armor that we can make. And, of course, we're going to need to get ourselves, what, the Mini Shark amongst other things. So, there's the Mini Shark. We need illegal gun parts. I think we need some shark fins as well as some souls of might. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got all that stuff laying around, aside from the illegal gun parts, which we get at night time. So, yeah, guys, we should be able to get this thing done pretty darn easy-like. So, yeah, just need to wait for night time to roll around. We find ourselves the arms dealer, who is just down here, as a matter of fact. And then, uh, yeah, guys, we should be able to get ourselves a mega shark. And that is what we're going to be using, for the most part, to take down Skeletron Prime. That is right. But before before doing any of that, we need to go ahead and make ourselves the Ranger set of Hallowed Armor. Yeah, so there's the plate mail, there's the trousers of course, and with all of that armor, we now have 57 defense and the set bonus of now becoming immune after striking an enemy, which I'm pretty sure used to be the set bonus for the titanium armor. And check it out my friends, we've got 16 hallowed bars left, and I think to be honest with you, the thing that I want to be making is actually the Durendal. Nine summon tag damage and striking enemy gains attack speed. So, yes. Very, very cool, my friends. If we could go ahead and get ourselves a nice little reforge on this bad boy, then that would mean that we have a hefty start to a slightly upgraded summon set later down the line, eh? This doesn't make any sense, my friends. So, the buy price for the pink team block, right, is one silver, and I bought a full stack of it, just in case we want to build with it later on in the series, right? And the pink team platform costs the exact same to purchase, but somehow it has a higher sell price. Uh, go figure. That makes absolutely zero sense. <laughs> To be honest, I was done questioning Terraria's logic a long time ago, but somehow there still seems to be occasions where I'm just like, wait, what? Anyway, let's get ourselves a lovely little reforge on the Durendal here. Dangerous. I mean, ideally, I think what I'd like is godly or something like that. Uh, deadly? Yeah, that's kind of nice, but I really do feel like godly would be the way to go. Oh, or legendary. That will most definitely do the job as well. Haha, <laughs> very, very nice. All right, my friends, we have a very, very nice start to a good summon set to be using later down the line. And look at the damage increase compared to the spinal tap. It is damn near double the damage, my friends. Wow! So we just came to the realization that we really only have one Ranger accessory for a bullet gun. And that is, in fact, the Ranger emblem. Because the quiver buffs bows, doesn't it? It doesn't really buff anything that shoots out bullets, huh? So, yeah. Maybe we need to do a little bit of grinding for some uh, further Ranger accessories, eh? Because it really does seem like this is the only thing we've got. 
I mean, I guess on the flip side, it does mean we can start getting back out some of our older accessories. Say, for example, the Magiluminescence. That'll be kind of nice, eh? So we need some iron bars. We need ourselves some bones as well. And then I do believe some souls of light and night. And then we should be able to make ourselves a Skeletal Prime Summoner. Yep, there it is. 30 bones are required. Alrighty, my friend. So in terms of our ammo, we we're going to do a little bit of a split ammo kind of dealio. In that what we're going to do is purchase for ourselves a whole bunch of musket balls. We're then going to pop over to the anvil here, whereby we're going to have ourselves a bunch of icor bullets. Let's say 10 of them, rather like that. And then maybe a stack of 50 crystal bullets. And then at that point, what I'm hoping we'll be able to do is absolutely maximize the amount of damage we can do by using the icor to reduce Skeletron Primes' defense. And then of course using the shattering effect effect from the crystal bullets to really maximize our projectile damage, all right? All right, my friends, night time has rolled around, so we have limited time to get all of this stuff done. So starting off here with uh, this guy, we need the illegal gun part, and that should be the final piece of the puzzle. There we have it. The Mega Shark. <laughs> hey, very, very nice. All right, needless to say, we're going to go ahead and reforge it. If we could get Unreal or Deadly, that would be absolutely fantastic. Go on, first time going. Boom! Ah, oh, that's not very good now, is it? All right, Deadly or Unreal. Deadly or Unreal. Come on, buddy. There we have it. Finally. Blimey, O'Reilly, that took a while. All right, and uh, certainly a lot of my money as well. All right, real quick, we need to go ahead and get ourselves some buff potions. And then we are getting straight on with this thing, my friends. No delays. No dilly-dallying. We're going to get this thing done. Alrighty, I think we've got some good buffs going on here. All we're going to do now... Oh, hang on a minute. We need to go ahead and uh, dispatch the trash here real quick. Get out of these stupid unicorn. I need to use... Yeah, there we have it. The ammo crate right there. That's what we're looking for. All right, uh, I think we're pretty good in terms of our buffs. So, let's go ahead... And buff up. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do this thing. I'm pretty excited about it, actually. We'll see how we do with our split ammo here. So, hello there, buddy. Let's see what we can do. And uh, more to the point, see if this still is one of the all-time great OG weapons in Terraria. Come on, chief. Let's freaking do this. We're doing a good amount of damage, my friends. It has to be said. Yeah. Love to see it. All right, a little bit of health back for your boy. A little bit of eye core being used right there as well. Very, very cool. This guy's now coming in for the spinny attack. All right. We are already nearly halfway through the fight, my friends. To be honest, if we don't manage to do this, then there's probably something wrong with us. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, come on. Come on, Chief. There we are. A little bit of dashing. I'm very glad that we still have the ability to dash, my friends. I'll tell you what. Wow. Still doing all right, though, aren't we, my friends? We really, really are. I think we should have this. We should have this in the bag. Like, easily. Come on. 16,000, 15,000, 14,000. Looking all right so far, my friendos. We've got about 10 seconds until a heal. Come on, Skeletron Primo. Get yourself back down here, Chief. There you are. Hey, buddy. And there we have it. Another little bit of a spinny attack here. Yeah. 8,000 health, my friends. There we are. Oh, the ability to dash. It's so underrated, man. It really is, though, isn't it? <laughs> because, ladies and gentlemen, as a result of us being able to dash, we have been able to not just easily take down Skeletron Prime, but, like, massively easily be able to take down Skeletron Prime. All right, so opening up the bag, we get ourselves 40 Souls of Fright. And you know what? Since we didn't get ourselves the uh, drop there, we are going to go ahead and immediately do another fight. I am of the belief that we have enough time to get ourselves another fight done and dusted. So, let's go ahead and get it done and dusted. All right, all right, all right. Straight back to it, buddy. Straight back to it. You're going to die again. Sorry, buddy. It's 1-0 to me. And by the end of this, it's going to be 2-0 to me, son. <laughs> Yeah, look at that help. Draining. Very cool. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. The Mega Shark is still 
one of the all-time great ranger weapons to have, my friends. Like, there's no doubt about it, really. And I tell you what, the, uh, the split ammo method is definitely working. An absolute treat, my friends. So let's keep it going. Oh! Okay, gotta be careful on that one. Oh, almost bashing into his arm there. And if he knocked me the wrong way, then I could have been checking out his head up close and, uh, you know, getting on the wrong side of the spiky boys that he has going on there. Oh, for God's sake, really? There's another wyvern. I'll tell you what, I'm not dying to a wyvern in a boss fight! No! No! Not happening, son! Not happening! There you go. Okay, wyvern, you gotta die now, sir. No! Get out! Oh! Okay, okay, Wyvern, you're not exactly helping matters here, son. Right, come on, come on, Wyvern, you will die. You will die, and all will be well, okay? Come on. There we are, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. <laughs> a little bit back and forth. It's like trying to take down two bosses at once, man. What the hell, dude? <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, the fact of the matter is the Wyvern has taken out the game. And, well, we should now have this thing in the bag as a result, my friendos. And do you know what? We absolutely do have it in the bag. Get wrecked, son! And, unfortunately, still no sign of the master mode drop. Ah, uh, big sad, my friends. Big, big sad. Unfortunately, I think that's about the limit in terms of Skeletron Prime fights as well. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, well, doesn't matter too much. We'll go ahead and uh, take down mech bosses galore in one episode and uh, try to get ourselves the master mode drop. Say, how does that sound? For now, though, we've got ourselves some very, very cool things going on here. We've got Souls of Fright. We've got ourselves a bunch of hallowed bars and a lot of money. Yeah, things are looking good, baby. So, yeah, not that anyone probably doubted it, but, uh, yeah, the Mega Shark still remains to be one of the all-time great OG Ranger weapons in Terraria. Like, there's just no doubt about it. It's such a fantastic weapon, and it's something I still heavily advise that you guys make. All right, my friends. So, we've got a few little odd jobs to be doing here. For example, first of all, we should be able to make ourselves the Mechanical Wagon. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Sorry, minecart, but you have been superseded by the mechanical car, which I'm pretty sure is something that can actually do damage. I remember doing an Is It Possible episode with the mechanical car against the boss, and I'm pretty sure it actually won. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. The next thing we're going to do, my friends, is get ourselves four stacks of musket balls here. And, well, you probably know what I'm going to be doing with all of this. If we head on over to a crystal ball with four stacks of either regular arrows or regular musket balls, we can make ourselves the endless musket pouch or the endless quiver as well so uh yeah let's just pop on over here real quick and ladies and gentlemen there it is we now have infinite ammo hey, hey very cool so check it out my friends there it is the pickaxe axe yeah very very cool my friends very very cool we can now go ahead and start mining up chlorify if we so wished Hey, that's pretty cool. Needless to say, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to reforge it with a bit of speed. Getting light on it would probably be the best thing to go for. But anything that increases speed in general would be welcome in my eyes. Okay, yeah. You know what? That'll do the job quite nicely. Thanks, bud. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and remind myself as to the things we can make with each of these different souls here. We can make ourselves the true knight's edge if we really wanted to. Oh, the only thing is I don't have enough souls of might. Ah, big sad. Oh, well, uh, maybe we could do that by the end of today's episode, eh? Try and get ourselves a true knight's edge. Might not be a bad way to go. Getting an Avenger emblem might also be a good way to go, my friends. Yeah. The souls of sight, of course, can be used to make a variety of things as well. We've got the optic staff here, as well as the rainbow rod, eh? Got some cool things. Yeah. Do we want the optic staff just yet? It could be a nice idea, you know. But then again, I've pretty much only just made this set of hallowed armor, so I kind of want to stick to a ranger set for now. Just for a little bit, at least. So let's check out the Souls of Might. We've got the Light Disc, we've got the Mega Shark, and... Well, actually, that's just about it. Huh. 
Okay. Right. I think we need to take down one more destroyer. We're going to make ourselves the true knight's edge by the end of today's episode, okay? And we're also going to make ourselves an Avenger emblem. I mean, we've got plenty of spare emblems laying around, so there we have it. We'll take that ranger emblem. Wait, we really have three ranger emblems, and they're all menacing. <laughs> That's a bit crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, we'll pop on up here, and there we have it. 12% increased flat damage. Very, very nice. Right, I kind of want to go ahead and see what this can be made into as well. Just as a little bit of a reminder for little old me, because I don't feel like I go down the Avenger emblem route very much in Terraria. So let's have a look here real quick. We've got the Destroyer emblem, requiring the Eye of the Golem. Celestial emblem, which is apparently a mage accessory. Very cool. And the Mechanical Glove, which of course I'm pretty sure can be made into the Fire Gauntlets later down the line for a top tier melee accessory. You know what? I'm going to stick with the Avenger emblem for now, just so we can get flat damage. And since it's a damage accessory, I feel like we need to go ahead and get menacing on it real quick like. There we have it. Yeah. So with the menacing Ranger emblem, which is 19% damage, and the menacing Avenger emblem, which is another 16% damage, we can get a whopping 35% increased damage with these two things combined. That is ridiculous. So there it is, my friends, the mech worm. We need only wait for night time now, and uh, yeah, we'll have this thing in the bag, hopefully, pretty easily. And you know what? Just for the sake of all times, we're gonna use the all-time great bow combo against the destroyer. A lot of you guys will know what we're gonna be going for here. Where is it? The dangerous storm bow. There it is. And then we combine that bad boy with holy arrows. <laughs> oh, the destroyer won't know what's hitting, my friends. He really won't, because not just that. Since we're using a bow, it means we can go ahead and whip out the magic quiver as well. And this thing now does 76 range damage, and that's not even taken into consideration. The usage of a freaking buff potion, you know, the archery potion. So, yeah, we've got some cool stuff coming up, my friends. All right, how about a little bit of a uh, quest while we are waiting for night time, eh? So we've got to pop on over here. We need ourselves the mudfish. Hopefully, it's something that's caught in the first few catches here. Come on, buddy. Uh, oh, there we go. Second time going. You know what? I will absolutely take it, my friendos. Uh, all right. Let's go and hand it in and see what we get. High test fishing line. Don't need it there, son. Really? The traveling merchant is up on the graveyard island. Well, if that's not peculiar, then I don't know what is, man. Hey, Budski, what you got for me? Oh, it's my cape! Oh! Nice, the winter cape. That is my favorite cape in the game. Oh! I feel like myself again, dudes! Look at me! Oh, I look fantastic. I do. The winter cape is by far my favorite cape in the game. Look at it. Look at me. I look glorious. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, guys, let's get this destroyer done, and then we'll pretty much wrap up the episode after we get ourselves the uh, the true knight's edge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, for old times, we have ourselves the Daedalus Stormbow and, of course, the Holy Arrows, and, well, here we have it. It is now night time. Let's go ahead and zoom on out here, and let's make sure we're nice and far away from our NPCs, all right? So... Buffing up. This thing now does 97 damage. Holy guacamole. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. 2,000 damage per second, my friendos. Oh, wow. I actually didn't take damage there. That is actually kind of mad. No, don't get hit by the head there, Pythonator. Don't be a massive dummy. Yeah. Surging through this fight, my friend. That was about a quarter of the way through already. Consistently doing a healthy 2,000 damage per second here. Yeah. <laughs> it still remains to be one of the greatest ranger combos in this game. And apparently, at one point or another, it caught a nerf. Show me where the nerf is, man. Because, well, I don't know about you guys, this is still kind of a gnarly combo. It just, it's just absolutely ruining this kid, man. Like, seriously. It's so dumb. 
Oh, that'll do it, my friends. And there's the souls of might we need. All right, beautiful. So there it is, my friends, the regular Knight's Edge. All we have to do is pop ourselves down to the Mithril Anvil. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is, 152 melee damage. Okay, make that 168. Wow! Okay, <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous, my friends. Should we go ahead and push it, see if we can get legendary on it? I mean, that would be rather special. So, oh, that is a little bit on the expensive side. All right, what are we thinking, my friends? Can we get it? It needs to be red rarity. Oh, there it is! The legendary True Knight's Edge coming in at a whopping 175 melee damage and 26% crit chance. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. My friends, literally everything I have set out to do in today's episode has gone off without a hitch. Do you know how rare that is? Like, seriously, Terraria normally goes ahead and throws all manner of curveballs at me to try to, uh, you know, stop me achieving my goals. But no, today, we've actually achieved everything that I wanted to do. And I can't tell you how happy I am to say that. Truly, it is something to behold, episodes like this. So yeah, if today's episode doesn't deserve a like, then I seriously don't know what does. So then, to wrap up today's episode, we do, of course, have the comment of the day, which comes from Simple, who asks this. Hey, Python, which of the Fishron weapons is your favorite out of the four available? The Flareon, Tsunami, Razorblade Typhoon, or the Tempest Staff? Love you, Vince, and keep up the fantastic work. Hey, thank you so much for the kind words there, buddy. I really do appreciate it. I must admit, I had to think quite hard about this one, because honestly, all four weapons are fantastic in their own ways. The Flareon, of course, being a flail that also shoots out projectiles that do a load of damage. The Tsunami is just fantastic because it shoots out five arrows at the same time. And well, you can imagine how effective that is when you go ahead and combine it with something like the Holy Arrow. Can you imagine five Holy Arrows doing damage at the same time? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? The Razor Blade Typhoon, of course, is a homing mage projectile weapon, which is just absolutely devastating. And the Tempest Staff I mean, I must admit, I think the Tempest Staff might be the lowest of the four in terms of effectiveness. But yeah, the Flare on Tsunami and Razor Blood Typhoon are just incredible weapons. But I think, honestly, my favorite is probably the Tsunami. The ability to shoot out five arrows at the same time and for all of those to hit an enemy at the same time, the amount of potential damage output you can have with that thing is truly insane. So yeah, I think the Tsunami might have to be my favorite. But that's not to say that the other weapons aren't all great as well. They really, really are. Which is why, like I said, it took a while for me to actually come up with an answer for that one. But uh, yeah, the Tsunami. I love it very much and I can't wait to hopefully get it later on down the line, my friends. But for now, it's time to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's action-packed episode, where literally everything has gone right for us for once, then please do be sure, of course, if you haven't already, to go ahead and head down below the video and drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!